Today is Sunday, a holiday. Raju's family decided to take a round of the market today. Raju's father took out the car to go to the market. Raju's mother sat in the front and both the kids at the back. On their way to the market, they saw many buildings out of the window. First, they saw a temple where the priest was offering prayers. A little ahead, they saw a church where many people have gathered for the Sunday Mass. There are other places of worship in Raju city like a mosque and a gurdwara. When they crossed the church, they saw a bank, a court and a post office. All these buildings were closed today since today was a Sunday. A little ahead on the way was a hospital. Raju saw a nurse and a doctor entering the hospital building. Dad, a hospital is not closed even on a Sunday? Yes, Raju. There are many professionals who work on Sundays. Many places open on Sunday like on any other day of the week. For example, police station, fire station, hotels and dharamshalas. Oh, we have reached the market. Get down children. Look at the market. It is also completely open on a Sunday. See, so many different kinds of people work here. Shops with colourful clothes are open. There, a tea seller has opened his little tea shop on a cart along with his son. There, a girl is selling flowers. And over there, an old lady is stringing the flowers into a garland. Yes, different people do such different work. That uncle is simply sitting and reading the paper. Yes, Raju, we are always involved in some work or the other, whether it generates income or not. For example, your father works in a bank, which generates his monthly income. I teach in a college, from where I too get my monthly salary. However, the work I do at home, like cooking, that doesn't generate any income. Ma, but I don't earn by any work I do. That's because you are a student as of now. Your job is to study. You focus on that, Raju, so that you and other students get all resources and facilities for learning. Many people, like the principal, teachers, guards and support staff, work in your school. Okay, now tell me, what do you do from the morning to the evening? I wake up in the morning, I get ready and then I go to school. I study long and hard in the school. When I come back, I play with Deepu, finish my homework and then at night, I help Ma in laying down the dinner table. All of this is a part of your day. The work we do at home and the things we do for ourselves, all of that gets counted as work as well. Yes, Raju. And since one person cannot do all kinds of jobs, that is why we need people who do specific work. For example, if the car engine develops a snag, we need to go to a mechanic. If the tap is leaking, we need to call in a plumber. To travel from here to there, we have to take assistance of rickshaw or auto drivers. Hmm, I think I will go home and make a list of all the people who do different kinds of jobs. Yes, you must. In that list, make a mention of all people you know or see around you and write down the work they do. But before that, tell me, what all did we talk about today? Today, we talked about the different work that different people do. We learned that some kinds of jobs generate income, other don't. We realized that each moment of life, we are involved in some work or the other. The work we do at home or for ourselves, that is, after all, work too. Well done, Raju. Let's go and buy some good books for you now.